Hello everyone and salam, peace be unto you. Uh, Savia Z. Yunus here, a licensed marriage and family therapist and motivational speaker. So I wanted to go live today to talk a little bit more in detail about what I talked about in my recent YouTube video. And so I up uploaded that to YouTube, so check it out. Uh, go to my channel and uh, subscribe and then you'll be able to see those videos. So I basically talk about guilt versus shame. And so I titled this uh, video to be Forgive Yourself because this is something that we have so much trouble doing. And I see it so much in the therapy office, in my office, when I'm working with individuals, couples, and families. And it mostly comes up when I'm working with individuals because really that's when the deep stuff comes out. It's about, I made a mistake, uh, I've done something wrong, and there's no way that I can redeem myself. Whether that relates to uh, individuals, right? Being able to uh, forgive ourselves, uh, when it comes to relationships, you know, if we made, made a mistake in our relationship, whether it's with a spouse or a parent or a sibling, you know, we, we focus so much on the mistakes that we make. But I wanted to focus more on the forgiveness aspect. Because what happens is that we forget that we're human, right? And that we make mistakes. And we can be more forgiving with others than we are with ourselves, we hold ourselves accountable. We can be our biggest critics, right? Where we hold it against ourselves. Like, how could you do this? How could you make this mistake? You know, why couldn't you have done things differently? And so we have this really harsh critic in our minds. And it's really about being able to sit back and actually listen to that voice. Is it being kind? Is it being understanding? Is it being empathic? Is it uh, being forgiving? And that's really what it's all about. If we're going to make mistakes, it's really about accepting that that's who we are as humans. And that's what we do. We make mistakes. And then being able to be okay with that. Telling ourselves that I am human and I make mistakes. And it's okay. That's what makes me perfectly imperfect as a human. And so I talk a little bit about this in that YouTube video and I wanted to kind of come live to uh, have more of this discussion. Uh, and I'm so happy to see so many of you uh, joining in. It was such an impromptu uh, live because I just had this on my mind and I just wanted to kind of put it out there that why are we so hard on ourselves? Why are we not uh, why do we not give ourselves that benefit of the doubt and actually forgive ourselves? And so the topic really is about guilt versus shame. Um, that's what the video is too. So guilt comes about when I do something wrong and I feel bad. That why did I say that to her? Or, or why did I do that to him? Or why didn't I um, you know, realize that I shouldn't have said that or done that or you know, made that mistake? And so that's guilt. And, you know, in a way it's a gift because it makes us feel bad for what we did. It helps us to take personal responsibility and then make amends to, to apologize, to try to work on that relationship, to try to make things better. But what happens is, is that we, you know, that guilt, we allow it to sit for a little bit, right? That I feel bad for what I've done. But then it, it sinks in and that's when I allow shame to take over. Shame takes over the guilt. So what's the difference? So guilt is, I've done something wrong. I did something bad. I made a mistake. Shame is against me, that I am bad. I am flawed, that there's something wrong with me. And so that's where we have to draw the line. Yes, you know, I have to feel guilty for what I did. I made a mistake. I did something wrong. But it doesn't mean that I am flawed or there's something wrong with me or I am bad or I am dirty or I am broken. So it's about putting that, drawing that line, not allowing myself to shame myself because what does shame do? It puts us in a deep darkness that we don't even realize how dark it is until we're so deep into it. 
shame puts ourselves down where it's like, I'm so flawed, I can never do anything right. Or I am so stupid that I made a mistake. You know, what is wrong with me? And so a lot of, of shame is, and I'm not going to go into this detail because it'll be a, a way longer talk and I didn't want this to, want to make it too long, but shame really is rooted in a lot of traumatic experiences. Shame can be rooted in, in, in our negative childhood experiences and it's so important for us to uh, discover this in therapy with a therapist, you know, sitting with a therapist and figuring out like, why do I feel this way about myself? Like, why do I put myself down all the time? Why do I listen to that critical voice and believe that there's actually something wrong with me? Why can't I be compassionate to myself? And that's what's so important is that we have that compassion, that we, that we strengthen and we amplify that compassionate voice that says, you know what? You made a mistake. That doesn't mean that you are flawed inherently, or that there's something wrong with you, or you will not be able to succeed, or you will not be able to get past this barrier, because that's what shame does too, right? It leads to inaction. That I think, you know, I'm, I'm flawed anyways, like there's something wrong with me, like I'm dirty anyways, so why am I even going to, to pray or to apologize or to try to make this relationship work? I'm just going to sit back and, you know, allow this to, to just unfold or allow this to just sink in and just, I'm just going to sit around. I'm not going to give myself that, that chance and that opportunity to grow because I don't believe I can. So that negative voice takes over and that's what we can't allow it to do. And so when I work with my clients, I help them to come up with mantras and statements that they can say to themselves to allow for that self-forgiveness and that self-compassion. I myself, I say the phrase that I am human and it's okay for me to make mistakes. Sometimes just saying I'm human helps me because it'll, it gives my, me permission to make those mistakes, to, to do wrong and to not be perfect. It's okay to not be perfect. We won't be, we will make mistakes and allowing yourself permission will help you with that. So give yourself permission to make mistakes, recognize that you are human, and don't allow the shame to sink in. Just stop at guilt. I made a mistake. What can I do to rectify it? What can I do to make up for it? What can I do to apologize and make this relationship work? I'm not gonna put myself down. I'm not going to demoralize myself so that I'm not able to pick myself up. So figure out what that phrase is for yourself. Work with a therapist on, on bringing yourself up to a place of self-forgiveness and self-compassion because that's what you deserve. That's what we all deserve. We deserve that compassionate voice within to get us through those tough times. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, I do have that YouTube video up. It's actually shorter than this one. So take a look um, on my YouTube channel and uh, check out that video and see if it helps you to kind of understand a little bit more about the guilt versus shame and it helps you to get to that place of forgiveness and you can always contact me here on uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Twitter, uh, I have an Instagram page as well so just reach out um, if you want to make an appointment or if you want to ask questions, anything, I'm, I'm available. Uh, so reach out to me and I hope to uh, speak to you soon. Take care and have an amazing the rest of your day. Bye and salam.